Tailwaters are incredible fisheries. You can fish them year round because they don't freeze up, because the water temperature is consistent. The hatches that we get are year round. It is not uncommon to catch fish 12 months out of the year on dries, watching them rise. A lot of midges, but they do rise. We first started coming out here about 10 years ago. I uh, just wanted to uh, try some new rivers out here, try some of the, the tailwaters. We'll spend a lot of time just walking up and down the rivers, trying to locate fish, trying to pattern them and figure out where they're going to be certain times of day. You have scuds, you have mice and shrimp, you have all kinds of different things like that. And they have a tendency to really color the fish up. Uh, tailwaters are well known for some of the most vividly colored fish you'll ever find. Uh, it's also a good source of protein and other things for the fish. So they do grow big and they do fight hard. It's a lot of fun to fish a tailwater because of the colors and because of the fight that you get out of the fish in addition to how big the fish get. As soon as you get them to take the fly and you set it, they'll give you a couple big head shakes and they just take off. And uh, you take off right with them and hopefully at the end of the fight, you're, you're the one with the fish in the net. Tarpon are the number one or two game fish in the world and nothing jumps or fights like a tarpon. It's unbelievable. One thing people don't ever realize is how crazy these fish are. It is one of the greatest fights of a fish you'll ever experience in your life. A lot of the action is topwater action. We're throwing flies in the back creeks and and just giving it a couple strips and like boom and a snook will come up and just pound it. In the past probably four or five years people have started actually fly fishing for them and actually targeting jacks and they're all over so they're not really hard to find and they're really fun. They're probably they're right up there with tarpon. Tarpon jump but jacks will take your drag. They're drag screamers for sure. You're under complete control of the fish. I mean, there's nothing you can do but with such light line. You you just have to kind of play the fish until it tires it out. Reach out your hand, let me hold. You there's logs and down trees kind of hanging over the river. Uh, which made fishing difficult. As soon as I hooked up, uh, it just went ballistic. I mean, exactly what you would want a steelhead to do, or expect the steelhead to do, and, you know, flying out of the water. Forever shall I feel the way. Uh, first time, there's two trees hanging across the river. Um, it goes straight up under those trees, jumps in the air, farther up the river, river, taking line, and I'm just holding on, hoping that it, it comes back out of there. Um, it races, keeps racing up river, so I run up the river, run through under the logs, it jumps up again.
people go to all these exotic places and spend all this crazy amounts of money when they don't need to.